discover the mysterious wonders of... Monica? Yes, Nancy? This is Troy Smith. Fine, and you? Great. Look, I was wondering if you could do me a favor and uh, give a message to Mr. Tobin for me today. I'm a... Oh, he's in early this morning. Okay. Great. Thank you. Tobin. Yes, hi, Troy Smith here. Fine, yes, thanks. Um, look, um, I, I called to tell you I, I, I need to ask for some personal time. Um, no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. I, I just need to, I need to do this. Well, I, I can fax that from here. 
uh, I'll call them myself. I'll call them myself. Now, I have that on disk. I can, I can same name the reports for you. I, no, no, I really can't. No, no, I'm sorry. It's personal. It's personal. You know, personal time, Mr. Tobin, you know? It's personal. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. John Doe. Glad you're home. Is that supposed to be a joke? No. I just I wasn't sure if you were gonna be home sure. or Good to see you. Come on. So you uh, don't seem very successful today. I've had an unsuccessful couple of days. And now you come to me, yeah? For how long has it been? About eight years? Is that right? What can I do for you, Troy? I don't know. You know, I'm not really sure why we haven't kept in touch, and I'm not really sure why I'm here now. It's been a long time since our last gig. Yeah, I sold the drum kit, you know? Ah, oh, but impractical when there is no band to go with it. Look, I'm really sorry about the way that all worked out. Ah, it worked out okay. Believe me. You might not know, but so I've written two plays which have enjoyed quite substantial runs in the city. I think I heard something about that. Yeah? Yeah, that's oh. great. That's great. Yeah, a lot has changed. I don't drink anymore. Changed my diet. You know, I don't even shit anymore. <laughs> you don't shit. You think I'm joking? No, I found this diet. The body only uses what it needs. No way. I just, I just can't begin to believe that. Doesn't matter. Do you want to go to bed with me? Don? I've restructured my entire hedonistic environment. You know, I really just came here to talk to you. I. You know, just talk. I <laughs> sense you need a glass of water. Yeah. <sighs> or if you have a beer. Water. That song Hot Ass Betty about her. Yeah, you oh, know. Yeah. Why did you leave? Did you stray? Eh? No. Uh, no, I didn't cheat. She didn't say why, she just disappeared. You know, it's as upsetting as that was, though, I didn't feel a bit surprised. Isn't it funny how you can pour your heart into detailing the immortalization of a person? Only to have that person depart from the image that you carved. So, you still in love with Hot Ass Betty, and Monica is no longer her. Yeah, I mean, what the hell happened? Well, maybe she was still in love with Rock and Roll Troy instead of this uh, investment banker arsehole or whatever the fuck it is you're trying to be. I know people change. I guess I had just hoped that we'd do it together. You know, stay on the same road. We even have a kid. I mean, how much more in common can two people be after having a kid together? Oh, you know, they say having a child 
Just another safety catch to stop it all from spiraling out of control. God, I hope not. Why is it that I know so little about my own life? Too busy to take stock of it, that's why. I take stock of my life. Yeah, that's why I write. You know? I can dissect it, make it better or worse, and then I give it to my characters and I live through my characters. Do your characters shit? <laughs> 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 Bastard, you're a sharpshooter still, eh? No, no, I'm... I'm my favourite person. Don Don is my role model. Yeah? I say the things Don Don wants to say. And I think the way Don Don wants to think. So you're a schizo? Whereas with you, you are not your favourite person that I can tell very clearly. Yeah. The only time you were remotely happy was when you got some release and the band was your release. I don't know I haven't seen you for quite a while. What I'm looking at now? Man, you paint a picture of a geezer who's uh, caught up in this uh, regimented protective shell. Everything nice and neatly planned out before him. Kushti wushti. Now, a lot of people like it that way. Safe and sound. Is that what Troy Smith really wants? Do you think that marriage is too regimented a life for me? Who gives a fuck what I think? What do you think? Well, I don't think that it's a good thing for me that Monica has left. Why? She's taking my son Ryan with her. What else is she taking with her? What, you mean like money? I don't know. No. Shit, my bank account's probably no, empty. I haven't I don't thought mean, about no, that. No, I don't mean material things. My life was us. That's all I know, man. Not much else should have mattered. And I guess my obligations were interconnected with my family's survival. At least I thought so. You know, a lot of people forget what they should be obligated to is themselves. And that's what can often save their families. What, do you still play? Pardon me? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Guitar, for God's sake. You still play? Uh, not very often and not, not very well. That's what you need. Go home. Pick up the guitar and play. Yeah. Yeah, that'll solve everything. Yeah. That's what you should do. Get some release. It's the only time I ever saw you happy, mate. That's when you were playing. Go on, go on, pick it up. Release! Well, that's just delightful, Don. Just release. Get high on life. Yes! Now get the fuck out of here!
I try. Will you play my song for me now? What? Hot Ass Betty? I thought you hated that song. <laughs> I love that song.